Harry Griffin, ball in hand. There might be a little bit of early gamesmanship here for New South Wales. Looking for the football. New South Wales said, here you go, you can have this one, and it's flat as a tack. <laughs> Let's see if this one's got a bit of dishwashing liquid or something on it. Mm. Yeah, happy though, now Queensland. Harry Griffin, ball in hand. What a series he had last year. That really put him on the map. He was on the map. He was definitely on the yeah, radar, but that really stamped it in. What a performance on his debut men's open series campaign last year. Let's see how we get underway here with Queensland in attack. Pride, early ball. Corey Russell feeds it through at the line. I'm off New South Wales hands, but it's going to come back, I think, for the forward pass in the first instance. You can already see the speed of the game so fast. Queensland, strong start. Unfortunately, ball going to ground, but New South Wales picking the ball straight up, and I literally don't think I've ever seen a touch football game start this quickly. Last year was fast, but this is taking it to another level. Ashby rolls forward. Last touch, Tennessee in the half. Kennedy... Dropping that one, Reese in the number nine. So something to keep an eye out for for New South Wales. Hennessy and the two Kennedy brothers. Hennessy loves to come out of half. One of the Kennedy brothers will push a hard middle line. He'll give him the ball and he'll wrap around. They score so many tries off it in their little park comp when they're playing for Hornsby and Gordon Cup. So just keep an eye out for it. Solid contact there on Norman. Forces the mistake. Nice start defensively from New South Wales. You'll see the contact, particularly early in this match. Both teams will feel each other out and try to get a bit of control in the play of the ball. Last touch here for New South Wales. Dylan across field. Takes the touch and will give the ball back to Queensland. A minute and a half played. New South Wales yet to experience an attacking set on the Queensland defensive line. Queensland on top early. Good drive here for Queensland. Dembo comes back midfield. Bauer, late inclusion for Queensland. Oh, rocket at the line, short. You mentioned you mentioned Bauer, late inclusion, literally days inclusion. I think he came into the camp about two days ago. It's going to be an interesting one for for Bauer to try and learn on the on the spot about all their all their driving patterns, all their moves, their go tos. But I bet you he's been told just to do his job, and he'll do exactly that for Queensland. Yeah, shout out to to Michael Law, unfortunately. A training collision in the lead up to this door. Michael uh, missed the series, concussion uh, issues, ruled out medically. And devastated for, for Laurie. Shout out to him, no doubt, watching back home. It'll be pretty tough to see his teammates out here at the moment, but he'll be riding with them for sure. In Queensland with Jake Notley, He's a player to watch for Queensland. A big series last year for the men in Maroon, Moffat. Early ball to Corey Russell. Oh, touch is made. Whisper away. <laughs> First touch there for Hayden Moffat. Young man on debut in the Queensland men's open team. That's a good opening touch. Tell you what, Mitch. Wilton late at the line. Just flicking Corey Russell on the boot, I'd say. And surely that's six again, given by the referee, and it is. For Corey Russell. I'd say he's probably one of the best players in the world at the moment. Number five in the Maroon jersey, sweeping around the back. Very, very dangerous player. Moffat this time. Seemed like he had an age with the ball in hand. Pumping, pumping, looking for something. Looks like he almost tried to fire it in. Received solid contact. Penalty would go to New South Wales. And tap taken from Mick Wilton. Wow. Ooh, almost rolling over on the ankle. Gets him going forward with another touch. Mick good now. Back midfield. Ashby. Coming into the back end of the set now, New South Wales. Good. We'll play it on last. Hennessy picks up, fires it off and off the fingertips there of Hayden Moffat. Another set of six for the Blues. That's right. I reckon that's a win for Queensland. If Moffat doesn't get a finger to that, Kennedy walks over with the ball in hand. That is a good result for both teams. No conceded try for Queensland, but gifting New South Wales another repeat set on the line. The Kennedy brothers with Hennessy, as we mentioned, and Sim Boland looks like he's coming into the attack for the Blues. He's on now in the number 12. You can see him on the bottom of the screen. Still in now, taking his time to set up. Maurice Kennedy, ball in hand. Boland in the half. His early ball to Hennessy, skips off the right foot. 
feeds it. They get that. No, they end up kicking out. Oh, desperation stakes there. James Courtney having to get a touch on it. And we've got a New South Wales player down. One of the Kennedy boys. High fives all around. Got to be another full set of six. Here for New South Wales. Maurice plays it. He's back on his feet. He'll get himself into acting half here. Early ball. Hand off the fingertips there of Dylan. Turns the ball over. Queensland straight back onto the attack here with Notley. Oh, threads it there. Jesse Jenkins. Half a whisker away. Catches that. We shut the gate. Another little debutante on the wing for New South Wales. Jesse Jenkins. He's really come into his own in the last few years. Playing in on the wing at Doyleson. Penalty so, here. Sorry, Jackson, for New South Wales. Queensland caught with seven players on the field. Nice. Yeah, just a congratulations to Jesse Jenkins of stepping up into touch on the, onto the biggest stage, nearly in touch football, out on the wing. There's going to be some absolute rockets coming your way. So just a heads up. I'm sure he'll get his introduction very shortly. Infield to Bolin, early ball from half. Kennedy looping back over the top to Josh Moffat. Moffat on each side of the field tonight. Josh now plays it. Dimbolan fired down here for Queensland. New South Wales play on the call. They'll get a penalty as a minimum. With them there, looking like losing footing. Probably a key name New South Wales don't have in their team this year is Gordon Marshall King, who scored eight tries in the campaign last uh, last year, which was equal first of that campaign. Eight tries in three games. That's not a bad result. So, big loss for New South Wales, but plenty of firepower still in their pack. Moffat tries to dive in at the line, loses control of the football. They know they're going to say touch has been made first. Big collision there. A couple of Queensland defenders as Norman streams up out of the line. New South Wales hold firm, put the ball through the hands. Kennedy again, jinking. Top mate, they're on John. <laughs> what he's diving from about five metres out. It's not bad for the, the Kennedy boys. They could be playing 30s along with Phil and Hennessy if they wanted to, but they said, no way. We want to play on the big stage in the men's opens. And they're still cutting it oh, by absolutely. a long shot. Absolutely. They had a little bit of space out there on the right-hand side. Almost a little two-on-one, the final pass. Just not connecting. Good roll into the line here. Liam Bauer. Fifth touch for Queensland. Griffin in the half. Goes early ball. Notley, tough one to take. Does manage to hold on to it, but falls to the deck as the touch is made. Jonathan Palau, good metres on touch two. Down the sideline. Here come New South Wales. With Costello now. Goes forward. Wilton. Wings one through. He looks to straighten up. No, kicks out. Plays it now on last touch off the left foot. Feeding out the back. Battling oh. out there. Taken by Matalizzo in the corner. Referees having a quick chat. Still having a quick chat. They're going <laughs> for a conference. It's not a quick chat, Scott. It's not a quick chat. You're right. It is a conference. Quick try, no try. Quick. I'm going to give it. I thought it was fine. I thought the baton went out there. I'm giving Whether the touch was made on Mads is even I reckon it was question. a touch. Yeah, they're going to come back. It'll be interesting. They're going to give the penalty oh. to New South Wales. <laughs> Tell you what, that was close, but some absolute skill shown with the bat on. It could be worth two nearly being able to bat on the ball like that as we see New South Wales back on the attack. Saying that looked very, very close. Jack Edwards sliding in underneath. Wilton plays the ball now. Hennessy, a wrap around the back. Big dive, Notley makes the touch. Hennessy again will try and probably come out of dummy half. And look to fire. Well, that's a left pass. And then going down the short side, ball behind the back of Luke Payne. Conversation with the referee. Looking for a penalty. Doesn't get it. Payne comes up out of the line. Touch two. Bang. And Jaden Benbo. Queensland now putting the ball through their hands. Two metres again from Bauer. Bart's now onto the field. Pride holds the ball up. Moffat comes across field and the touch is made 
in the corner, but it's on New South Wales' side of the field. So you've got nearly 10 minutes played in the first half. As soon as that first try is scored, I guarantee you the floodgates are going to open. We've seen it happen in the past, be an absolute stalemate for the first 10, 15 minutes. But as soon as that first try comes in, it's tries galore. And you see out the back, nice little bat on again. Wow, as you as you like. Put the dancing shoes on. Tell you what, Jaden Ashby just copped an absolute shot to the sternum late after giving the ball away. He's all right, he's back up. Back in the middle of the park, Jaden Ashby. Played in the mixed opens last year, so making his men's open debut this year. Hailing from Penrith. A lot of experience, Jaden. Very good defender. Griffin now crabs across field. More. Oh, did ball. He yes, he did. Griffin on the deck as well. Just off screen at the moment. He'll get himself back into position. Big opportunity here for Queensland. Norman tries to burrow in, looking for offside players. Got the knee heavily strapped, Pete Norman. Keep an eye on how he goes. As Notley tries to kick away the Don't speed. Away. Does he get out there? Is there have been a touch? <laughs> They're claiming it. Touch has been made. Oh, finger pointing that's, that's off what, it. That's what you don't want to see. Notley running around the outside of you so fast. So evasive. There's more now. Pumps it, holds. Queensland can't get it down on the deck. Last touch here for Queensland. Might have a bit of blood potentially. A New South Wales player. Josh Moffat holding the hand. We'll keep an eye on him. Costello comes onto the field for the Blues. Last touch, Queensland. I'll finish it off in the corner. No, Courtney. Not Lee. Flicks it, Courtney. Oh. <laughs> we might leave the flicks to uh, Jakey Boy there, uh, James. <laughs> Worth a shot, though, on the fifth touch. Still yet to see a very dominant run-in, four-on-three platform from either team and someone pick up out of dummy half and try and rip wing. Haven't seen that yet. Queensland have had the dominant go forward, I think, in their drive set. Been looking dangerous, but just haven't had that. Oh, hang on a second. Costello on Fridlin. Fridlin gets straight up to his feet. What about that for a collision? There's one man you don't want to uh, run into. Big Justin Costello. Oh, Justin Fridlin would have had eyesight dinner plates then. And the big man was running towards him, but he stood his ground, took the shot. Again. again and forces the mistake he's fired up the big man goes in his favor this time around just need to complete this set new south wales hopefully with a bit of momentum the queensland just smothering the attack of the blues someone needs to pick up out of half and just try and gas someone here they go as they try to spread it through jack edwards trying to create on fifth touch he spread it through, half a chance. Courtney in field, takes it on touch one. Moffat now on two. Assay, another man on debut. Here he is, in the number 10 for Queensland. Playing in the wing position for the Maroons. Queensland here, good field position. Russell plays it on the seven. Moffat holds, goes short. Notley tries to skip away, last touch. Good touch again by Jack Edwards. Notley bouncing around, left foot, right foot. I haven't yet seen, I haven't seen Corey Russell really get himself into the game yet. It's been, you know, 14 minutes played. He's going to be itching, itching to get his hands on the ball. The most dangerous prob possible scenario probably for Corey is getting a repeat set on the line when he's got all the time in the world to think up what he wants to run. Blues now. This is a better drive from New South Wales. Player plays it. Come back in towards the middle of the field with Wilton. Hennessy picks up, goes short. Little pop around the back. They've got numbers out here in New South Wales. They put it through the hands beautifully. And they get the point, the opening <laughs> points. And there's a little push and shove off the ball here as well. Corey Russell getting involved. But that was a risk try from New South Wales. Have a look at this. Well, it's Luke Kane flicking it out the back to Hennessy. Started with Hennessy, gave it to Kane, wrapped around, little flick pass. And then the little 
dinky pass over the top to Jesse Jenkins on debut, the number four, giving a bit of lift to Jake Notley as well. Corey Russell really taking offence to it. This might get a bit heated, let's say, Scott. Yeah, over the mark penalty as well from Queensland. Contact again. Boys are starting to <laughs> uh, get into it now. Pull out. Takes the touch. Kennedy basketball oh. pass, just losing his footing there. Kyson Boland. Norman over the top. Reese in the half. No look pass out here to pull out. There's the ball turned back over to Queensland. Well, it might just be the little spark. And you may mention like how tight it was. It took a while to get those opening points. But usually, like we mentioned a little bit earlier, Jackson, once you get them on the board, it might tend to open things up. But I think that little niggle as well might fire the boys up as well. That's exactly right. It starts to really open up, open up the play. It might just take a bit of the nerves out for New South Wales or Queensland to that matter, saying that, all right, the first one's on the board, now we can play some real footy. Bauer plays it on last. Moffat picks up, flicks it out the back. Benbo switches as well, plays on the deck. <laughs> Bauer throws a big looping ball. Good kick on you, has it? Yes. Jonathan Palau. <laughs> Trying to sneak in. He's up there, Mal Kenny. I don't know what, there was at least four switches in the space for five seconds. Queensland using the ball, switching in, switching out, making the New South Wales defence move very laterally. Nearly coming up with the try, but it was Palau just nipping Kenny at the last second, but again, gifting Queensland good field position. A mistake there from Nick Good. He's trying to sweep onto the field and keep New South Wales' momentum going forward. Penalty here to Queensland as well. Full set of six. And here we go. I mentioned before, Russell, repeat set. He's on the field. He'll be dictating terms alongside Moffat and Pride. But he's just going to want to have the ball in his hands. Very deadly. Beat it out now to Adam Pride. One of the co-captains of the Queensland team. He's going to try and pick up a penalty for New South Wales players retrieving. They don't get it. They do get it eventually. So one penalty in the seven metre zone. Queensland just take their time. There's a bit of a breather here. Three minutes to go in the first half. Queensland looking for their first point of the match. Adam Moffat plays it, steps back infield, goes to Corey Russell. Does he hold on to that and get it oh, down? He's got it down. Down. That is an impressive take there from Corey Russell to grab that flying through the line in one hand. It was a, he had to reach for it. Gets it down in one motion. Nice little trick play. Moffat taking on the line. And I tell you what, how did he split that gap? Not only that, he's caught it with one hand, managed to place it with one hand again. Corey Russell, we mentioned him, an absolute weapon near the line. There you go. One all. The floodgates are beginning to open, Scott. And Queensland level it back up. This is a pretty important defensive set for them as the first half starts to wind down. They got massive out the back. Just flicking it off the fingertips there, Jack Edwards. I mean, one if he could get his hands onto it. Might have been a little bit of, bit of space out here on the left-hand edge. That's typical New South Wales. Though. A lot of players in motion when they like to run their attacking, attacking sets. Queensland's very direct, very straight. New South Wales, a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving players, really trying to disrupt the defensive line of Queensland, doing exactly that. I had no idea who was going to get the ball. And Hennessy, just a little ball out the back, unfortunately couldn't. Couldn't reel it in, but Queensland now on the attack up the up the left-hand touch line. Yeah, Liam Bauer there. Seeing some space in front of him. Decided to pick it up and have a little go from half. They still had touches up their sleeve, Queensland. It's caught in possession. He's the ball back to New South Wales. And <laughs> Testing him. Tony Palau catching it on his knees. A good job to hold on to the footy. The old floater. Reece Kennedy now in field. John... Plays it, steps back in, links up with brother, just manages to get the bat away. <laughs> and couldn't hold on to it there, Wilton. We'll go back to Queensland. Okay, <laughs> penalty. Gamesmanship was... there, New South Wales just didn't want to give Queensland back the footy. Well, there's 50 seconds left in this first half. Can Queensland put another on the board? Going to be a good defensive effort here for New South Wales to keep them out. And you've got the likes of Pride, Moffat, Russell coming into dummy half. It's going to be tough. 
Try to look to set up, kicks out. Off it. One set play. Back into the midfield now with Corey Russell. Plays it, steps out, gets it back, shakes. Nothing there for him. And gives the ball back to New South Wales. The bowler will play it. And takes the first hit up as well. Solid contact again. Off it coming up and making the touch. Pride does the second touch. Gives away a penalty this time around. That's gamesmanship from Friday because giving away the penalty that stopped all the momentum for New South Wales. Now they've got no time to actually, you know, make a play at it. So it's possibly the worst possible outcome for New South Wales. Does the referee understand that? Maybe not. But very smart from Friday. And Hennessy tries to loop one over the top. No connection there. Both teams have made their way back out onto the field for the second half. New South Wales getting us back underway. Lots of one try piece here in the opening match of the men's open state of origin fixture for the 2022 series. And the Blues strike. The first possession here in the second half. They got players in motion again. On field referees, though, see a mistake in the play the ball. They go with that shape again where they've just got players sweeping around the back, topping in angles as well. But a little mistake in the play the ball there. A yeah, good start by New South Wales, but a little bit of a hooking action, I think, by Symbolan was alluding to. Where the actual attacking player hooks his arm around the back of the defensive player. Normally it actually goes the other way where the defender gets a penalty, but Queensland doing what they do best, rolling in for a good attacking set through Pride now. Happy to take the touch as they look to set up. Corey Russell sweeps around the back. Pride feeds it to him, looking for the short ball. The pass and the execution, not quite there. That connects up. Corey goes over for another try potentially for Queensland. New South Wales players were in good defensive position where it would have been very difficult for him to pick a player. All players were up off the line in the passing lane. So if he was to put it flat, there could be a chance for an intercept runaway. For New South Wales, good drive through Palau. Nice ball as well, a good try to flick it on. Touch and pass penalty will be the call. Skelly on field. Ben Nashby in the number three there. You can see... Next to the referee, and getting himself set for the next defensive play. Plays on the deck here for Queensland. Moore gets over to the sideline now for a change. Nice work from Moffat steaming on. And Bauer does the same. Good roll here for Queensland. Ben Boat flicks it, juggled by Moffat. A loop to, one to Bauer. They come into the last touch now. They look to go down the short side. Nice read coming in. Jesse Jenkins, the try scorer. For New South Wales. Turning it on on the other side of the field this time around. Thought he might have got a finger to that. Giving a six again. But not nah, straight across his face. Jesse Jenkins. This is the second time in a row. New South Wales have gone away from their substitution block. We saw it in the women's game from New South Wales. So might be a New South Wales thing. I'm not sure. But is it effective? I haven't really seen it take effect for both teams. We've seen Queensland very dominant. Going straight and direct through their substitution lane. Same as New South Wales, if they're going up the sideline, they get so much more momentum, but I haven't really seen it be advantageous to go away from their box yet. They could prove me wrong for sure, but I just haven't seen it at this moment. New South Wales getting pinged here for seven players on the field. Will Queensland give away one of those in the first half. New South Wales now doing the same in the second. Chance here for Queensland. Damon Moore in the half. Holds it, yeah, stinks one over the top there to Tim Bart. Penalty coming Queensland's way. A good touch, though, by Kennedy, just flicking him on the foot. Barty held it up long, didn't he? Held it up right into the line and just threw it over the top. Might have been more on that occasion, sorry. Yeah, it is that man, Damon Bort, Tim Ooh. Bart. Ooh. Little groan in the commentary box there. Body collision over the top. Timmy Vice straight back to his feet. Take a breather though now. As Norman plays it. 
receives it back, goes back to Moore, dummies, Norman again through the hands, Notley, Jenkins, the two number fours coming together, an important touch from Jenkins, Notley sweep, but Norman rips over the top, doesn't hit the target. When you've got Justin Costello defending in that right hand link, he's like six foot eight, probably seven foot maybe, it's impossible to throw that link pass because you can't throw it over the top of him because he'll snatch it out of the air. He can hold a basketball and it looks like a softball. So he's just a good defensive player to put in that right edge because it just takes away so many options. Maybe if you get the touch on him, you can dive at the line, but that's about it. We're keeping an eye on the look that Harry Griffin heading up the tunnel for the Queenslanders. So important, we'll try and keep an eye out for that. Obviously, an influential player for the Queensland team. Potentially out for the rest of this game. Reducing them down as well to 13. Corey Russell plays it. Jaden Benbow skipping across field. Moffat, ball in hand. But happy just to take their time here, Queensland, as Russell now comes onto the line. Fires it out the back to Bart. Bart sums it up perfectly. And Bailey Assay will get his first try in the men's open division. Nicely set up, though, in the midfield there for Queensland as they go up by one. Beautiful line run by Russell with ball in hand. Takes it to the short side. Off his right foot and just beats Tennessee with the ball speed. And Bartsy with the try assist, sending Assay over in the corner. Easy as it comes for Queensland. Good setup it was. The New South Wales can hit back. First time in the match, Queensland have the lead. Hennessy, right oh. foot slips in underneath. <laughs> Beautiful footwork, Dylan Hennessy. Well, how many times have we seen it throughout his career? But it's just bang like that, and he's down on the deck. Levels us back up. Wow, what a try by Hennessy. You've seen so many highlight reels of him. This to it, bang off the right foot, beating Russell at the line. Norman unable to collapse on him, and Hennessy uh, doing what he does best. Scoring prize for New South Wales in buckets. Fridland sweep. Moore goes away from him, slipping as well. Looping ball. We did get reports coming through at half time. One of our commentators on the sideline. Nice layer of dew starting to form out there as the temperature drops. So starting to make it pretty slippery conditions. For the players. They've done a pretty good job though. Only a few slipping. The ball control though has been super impressive from both teams. You haven't really seen too many balls hit the deck. We see a little juggle there from <laughs> Luke Kane. Almost did it. Good job there from Lukey Boy. He holds on to it. Play at the back again. Kane this time. That's a tough one to take though. Comes off his head. Comes off his back. Scoreline's been interesting. Mm. New South Wales scored. Queensland scored straight back. Queensland score their second. New South Wales score straight back. So there's there's no real movement in the score in the score line. So it's actually an interesting game. No team has really dominated the score line, which can you know relax yourselves a bit, open up the open up the park a bit, open up your footy skill. You can start to throw the ball around. But it's been a really tight knit game as Russell comes through to half and great cut by Simbola. Look at the Blues. Look at the look at the bench all up and around. Tell you what, they look a bit more energised, the Blues and the Queenslanders at the moment on the sideline. And we tough as like that, why wouldn't you be? A little bit of grabbing off the ball as well. Nick Good, Ooh. it's just off screen a little bit. Mal Kenny and Nick Good coming together, we'll let the play unfold. There's Kennedy on last touch. Hennessy, skipping, skipping, they hold off him again. You don't want to give him time and space. Beautiful little pop <laughs> over there. Don't play it again. Contact again. Luto goes to front row as well. Well, this is going to be You're interesting. He just walked over. Someone would have had to have been taken out. Guaranteed. Someone would have had to have been taken out off the ball. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Little bat over the top again. There's players. They're colliding now. I'm not too I sure. Don't know. I reckon that should be play on. I think, however, I think... Tony, on-field call was actually a forward pass by his signal. So I don't think it was anything to do with an obstruction. I think it was actually down to the forward pass. However, that was very close. Very close for New South Wales. Something out of nothing through 
Hennessy's fancy footwork and the ball speed out to Madaliso Masachi on the left-hand wing. And congratulations to Mads actually being awarded the captain of New South Wales. Great on. Great honour to be. And they're starting to rile Queensland up here in New South Wales. So we just saw a penalty given away. Jake Notley in possession. Trying to force his hand as a dive in. Looks like the ball spilled out. Short of the line potentially. Going to lead to Queensland. David Baggio. Forward off the ruck I'd say. Unfortunately for the Blues that was fans gone begging. It's honestly the best thing, getting a team rolled up, getting a penalty, good field position and going to score a try. Nothing better, Scott. Absolutely nothing better, particularly against Queensland. Contact again. It's going to go against the Blues this time, foot in the ruck. Tony Calabria making the call. On field controlling things at the moment. Benbo sweep. Comes against the grain. Back to Damon Moore. CQ Bulls compadre. More plays at penalty. New South Wales not moving forward. Seems like they're pretty happy just to give that penalty away. They're not too rattled. Gives them a bit of a breather. Corey Russell comes onto the field now for Queensland. You see him come into shot. Here he is. Sweeps around the back. Left foot. Touch is made. It's on his haunches here as well. Corey. Ginger only just starting to get to his feet. He might have copped a bit of a, a head knock, potentially. Good sportsmanship there. Nick Good. Checking on him. Tell you what, he's a tough customer, Corey Russell. Corey's brother, Adam Russell, performing quite well in the mixed opens. Game a few hours ago. Lost it in the half. Wrapped around. Gets it back from Russell. Good contact, though. Coming in on fifth touch. Russell holds it. He thread the needle through to Hayden Moffat. Desperation stages for New South Wales. The penalty does go their way. Can pass good metres here on touch one. The Blues, they're up and about and changes will come onto the field. Tennessee rolls forward on three. Good metres again. It's Kane. Dishes. Wilton puts it through the hands as well. Hennessy now. They pick up and go. Players on the deck. They try to go the bat on. Looked like they had the numbers out there on the left. But we'll get the penalty, though. I thought he could, could have kept running. Fridland was down on the ground, and there was no one in between Fridland and Moore, Fridland and Russell. So I thought he didn't even have to pass the ball. He could have just kept running into open space. And then again, New South Wales gifted another free repeat set on the line. And Kennedy comes into the action with Hennessy and Luke Payne in the middle. With ball in hand. Kane plays it. Guy the seven. Oh, a little bit of contact there. And we saw Luke Kane on the deck. Ball was sent out his way. Oh, I think that's a bit of a tough call by the referee. If you're in a vulnerable position, I reckon it gives the defender every right to give you a bit of a knock. Ooh. If you don't control the ball, control your body language, I reckon it's a fair shot by the defence. Bit unlucky there, Queensland. Yeah, actually saw Damon Moore get a fourth substitution there as well. Tim Buzz comes onto the field. Full compliment. Within the seven-metre zone here in New South Wales. And will treat now. And Dylan directs traffic. They play it. They look to go down the short side. Bit of space there. Tim Bart's having to make a big touch on the line. And did he make the line? Oh. The referee say yes, he did. South Wales reprieve the ball. Jack Edwards will play it. Jenkins winks back up. Gives him the ball. So holds out in the touch. Edwards again. And as he will try and get the ball back off the deck here if he does play it. Early ball, loose ball. Out in front of Jack Edwards. Capitalise on the opportunity down that end of the field there, the Blues. Moffat plays it, Notley. Skips away. Look at the <laughs> meters. Jake Notley. So fast, Notley. So fast. Bauer now. Also keeps the run on. New South Wales retreating. Bauer trying to dance around. <laughs> Almost gets it done. Norman will get himself into half. Skips. 
Almost gets into the in goal area. Very close. Norman let it go. Bauer may have been crossing over. And I thought the play before, Bauer came off his right foot. I thought there might have been a little bit of space on the outside of Symbolum for him to try and gas him. He had Notley on his outside as well. And he's not short for pace either. You just Bailey, thought, yes. hey, you thought they all want to run, don't they, Scott? All the Queenslanders. They want their super coach points. Exactly. Meters gain. Hitting the stats up. You saw just off the restart there, Bailey Asse went quick tap. Try and get plays <laughs> offside, contact into Notley. That's two good touches by Josh Moffat on that left hand link. That's twice he's come in and made a crucial touch, not allowing Queensland to get that second phase play. Good refereeing as well, just says no. Play the ball. Carry on. Nice switch there. Benbo looks to switch in as well. Does so. Cridlin though on the back foot. Notley has to scramble to get into acting half and it comes off the boot there of one of the New South Wales players. Tell you what, the Queensland substitution box were calling for a sin bin there. Possible potential professional foul. I think Notley could have been scooping into the in goal for sure. Cridlin gets it right. Ooh. Play the ball now. Costello coming up and making the touch. Right again. Ball in hand. Jinks and links up with Justin Cridlin. Put the ball through the hands. No penalty coming at the moment. Notley takes it right to the line. And again, collision of bodies. Moffat making the touch over the top. Cridlin will play it again. The chat from the New South Wales box telling their players they want them to get up more fires over the top little bat over the, as well Ooh, one big six again yeah it is tough one it's a really tough one Madalito there getting the arms up to pretty much try and stop that bat back yep. but it just comes off the off the fingertips there's another full set of six here to Queensland I mean look at the strike power they got on at the moment Queensland Russell Norman bounce into the action Damon Moore. Oh, hang on a second. Little cheeky turnover here. Forward pass off the ruck called by David Baggio. So New South Wales let off the hook there. Chance missed by Queensland with a fresh set, repeat set. New South Wales hadn't subbed in about three or four oh, sets. We see a bit of a bump. Oh, oh, Norman comes up out of the line as well. Wow. It's starting to get testy. We saw sure element to that in the first half. It is origin though, Scott. It is origin. Wouldn't be origin without a bit of a push and shove. Now we're just going to see the referees call over both captains, Peter Norman and Nick Good. It's been a couple of occasions throughout the game where there's just been those off the ball collisions. Players coming in contact with each other, the referees just going to try and calm things down. Not sure how uh, successful that will be for them. You need a crowd as well, really getting getting into the contest as well as the players. Russell Sweet gets it. Great defence coming out of the line. Maurice Kennedy too early though. The referee's liking. Good defensive pressure. Still just make them think twice next time they go down that way, knowing that New South Wales scream up out of the line. More right foot. Ooh, almost slides in close. underneath. Mitch Wilton again, just making one of those on-the-line touches. But Damon Moore, he's very dangerous in his left-hand link. So if he gets the ball out of dummy half or gets a, a counties and the ball gets passed back to him straight away off the ground, his left-to-right pass is probably one of the best in the game. Moffat, Russell, loops one over the top. Oh, oh Jesse Jenkins says not today, but it will be come back. Infield, and they are up and about New South Wales, and the crowd is starting to try to get behind them as well. It's two minutes to play. It's two all. This does go into drop-off. This does go into drop-off. So we want to bring the fans back. The boys better not score any more tries, and it will go... Is it straight to five-on-five, five, Scott, or does it go to four-on-four? Four-on-four is the, the current rule. Sometimes there are a couple of variations. We'll get that clarified before we go into extra time. If we get to extra time... And that really tight tussle that we saw in the first half. One try piece, one try piece in the second. Tennessee skip, comes back oh. infield. Again, never a dead play, never a dull moment. Oh, and they're getting an extra 10 metres for throwing the ball away, Queensland. 
So a minute and a half to play. It was five all last year, and Queensland scored at the death. Can it be a repeat of 2021? Prislin. Damon Moore onto the park again. Liam Bauer, Jaden Benbow making their way on as well. This is a big set here for Queensland. In really good field position. Benbow plays it. Moore loops it over the top. Notley gets absolutely whacked by Matalitzo in the air. If he holds on to it, he's probably going to get touched. The referees do give a penalty. Damon Moore, that right to left. It's a New South Wales one set. One set to win the first game of State of Origin. Oh, penalty. Jake Notley trying to put some pressure on. Screamed up out of the line. Now, yeah, New South Wales, that just marches them upfield. Oh, nice little ball there on one. They've got their tails up here. Hennessy getting into the line. Tim Boland, they're on the back foot here, Queensland. That's they great hold. play by Queensland. That's exactly what they had to do. They made the touch. New South Wales was scoring, no doubt. Hennessy, dangerous ball in hand. They've got numbers out here. They put it through the hands now. Oh, player <laughs> slipping out there. Mel Penny, but it had his back turn. Maurice Kennedy. Emily, quick tap. Hennessy goes. Feeds it to Kennedy. No. Oh, Huda goes in the background as well. Had to be on the mark. They get sent back there now. Hennessy. One play to come, looping over the top, shut down. Extra time, here we go. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a drop-off at this level of touch football in a very long time. We're going to try and get some word for you if, it's go if it goes to five on five or to four on four. Either way, this is going to be absolutely spectacular football. A lot of space to move, a lot of fast individuals in both teams, a lot of skill. And both of these teams in their training camp would have trained for a drop-off situation. So they will know what they are doing. They're not just going to be out there running space and trying to figure, figure it out on the run. They have planned manoeuvres, planned skills, and they're going to be ready for this, Scott. And it's just a completely different game now. It, it goes completely away from your normal setup. You've got reduced players onto the field. And like you said, they would have trained for this moment. They'll have set players that will know right now they're either going out in attack or defence for either team. Tell you what, I'm not even playing and I am so nervous. I can't even stand still. So I, don't, I couldn't even imagine what they're feeling at the moment. Probably excited, nervous. Who else knows? And so many emotions. Such a crucial point in the game here to go up 1-0 in the series. Whoever takes this one away is going to set themselves up nicely for game two. It's not over by any means, but it, this is a really important little period of play here for both teams. It just takes all the pressure off if you win that first one. It just takes all the pressure off, and we believe it goes straight to four on four. So for New South Wales, it's both the Kennedy brothers. Hennessy, I believe it's Edwards there, in the middle as well. For Queensland, it's Notley, Norman, Cridland and Moffat. So they play for two minutes. And it's whoever has the highest score at the end of the two minutes. If there isn't a score during that time. It's Hennessy. They just let the play unfold. He plays it now outside the seven. Last touch. Hennessy. Skip. Has a touch been made? Justin wow. Cridland. Great touch by Justin Cridland. That's a great win for Queensland. It keeps New South Wales out with some of the best players in the world at four on four level. Penalty to Queensland. Oh dear. Nice shot there on Peter Norman. He was just touching on before. If the score still remains level after the two minute period, we then drop to three on three. And it's live from that point on. Next try scorer will win the match. Well, Queensland have now got. Pride, Russell, Bembo, and Damon Moore into the attack. And Russell, look at him come around. Oh, goes away from the sweeper, though. Adam Pride, and nice defence. Just nice and calm, making the touch. Here's Mitch Wilton for New South Wales. Here he is, down the sideline. Nick Good onto the park now. Got to go forward, New well. South Wales. Got to go forward. He's just over the halfway line now. Good on last. All players have collided. Play on is the call for the time being. It's an in-goal error. 
The referees will come together. New South Wales are flooding into the field. They're going to point to the spot. And the Blues have taken game one. As to who to go on yet, there's still a little bit of time, but it's going to be imminent. The two-minute period must be close. Queensland, they scramble. There must only be a couple of plays for them. It's got to be 15 seconds at least. Oh, oh no, put the ball down on the deck. Hayden Moffat, the hoodie goes in the background. Wow. Drama galore here in the 